Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie, and today we're going to be making a baby quilt. Um, I'm going to actually show you that baby quilt now. This is the one I just made. It measures 40 by 40, and I know that you can't see the entire thing on the camera. You will be able to see the picture on my website. Um, so this is the top. It is nine, nine blocks across and nine blocks down that measures 40 by 40. So we've got a total of 81 blocks. 40 of those are going to be white and then 41 is going to be the pattern. And if you notice I started with the darker at the top and then as we get to the bottom it gets lighter and lighter. So kind of that ombre look. Okay, so you have a couple options for this quilt. It is, like I said, a baby size. And you can use layer cakes or you can use fat quarters. What I'm going to be using is the leftover layer cake that I used for this one. The name of it will be uh, on my website. It is one that's probably not available anymore. Fabric comes and goes really fast. It sells out like hotcakes. Um, I will tell you I'm using the white Bella Solid Charm Pack. We'll need 40 of those. And then I'm going to cut my layer cakes to give me 41 squares that measure five by five, same as this. So what I'm gonna do is choose my um, layer cakes that I'm gonna be using. Uh, you're gonna need six patterns. So this right here uh, with the castles, that is pattern one, or we can call that pattern six because that is the lighter of the color. So that's pattern six. This would be pattern five. This is pattern four, and this is pattern three, pattern two, and pattern one. And if you look at these, you'll notice it gets darker and then goes to lighter, okay? Now you don't have to do this. You can position your squares wherever you want. Um, I may change these up. I know that I had this pattern in the pink further down, and then when I got the quilt made, I was like, well, this is actually kind of dark instead of light. So you position them wherever you want. It's just you're going to start with um, a pattern, and then every other one's going to be a white, okay? So there's going to be lots of pictures, so sometimes I mess up my wording, but the pictures will show um, what you need to do. So I have determined that you need seven squares of all six of these. So if you cut this in half and cut this in half again, this is going to give you four because it measures 10 by 10 and we want five inch squares. So that's going to give me four. So then I need to cut one and we're only going to use part of the second one. So because we need 41 squares, if you divide uh, 41 by six patterns of fabric, um, you get 42. We only need 41. So one of these uh, patterns, we're only going to need six instead of seven. So I'll recap all of that um, once we get going. So I'm going to go ahead and make my very first cut. Okay. So I'm just going to place this here on my, um, what is this called, my mat. And I'm going to position it at the 5 inch mark. I want to make sure that my ruler, hopefully you can see this, that it lines up at the bottom down here and that it lines up on the side. And then I'm just going to take my rotary cutter and cut. Then... I'm going to turn it. Now, I could turn this mat. It does turn. That's the beauty of using this one. Um, but not everyone has this mat, so I'm just going to turn the fabric instead just to show everyone. Okay, so far I have two. Now let me get this one. I'll show you a couple pieces of fabric and then probably what I'll do is keep cutting with the camera rolling 
but I will fast forward it. So that gives me four. Like I said, we need seven. If you were gonna use a fat quarter, all you need to do is cut your fabric at the five inch mark and cut it five and five and five until you get your seven pieces, okay? I need to bring this a little bit closer so I can see the lines. Okay, now we have six, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut. And what I will tell you is that if you want to have more dark or more light, you don't have to use seven of all the patterns and then six of the final one. You could use eight, eight, seven, and then three sixes, which I know saying all that might be really confusing, and if it is, I'm sorry. I'll make sure that I have um, that combination also on my website. So if you wanted to use more of the lighter and less of the dark, you can do that. I really um, based my decision off of the fabric. So sometimes you have really pretty patterns of fabric and then sometimes you have a few in there that you don't really care for. So you could definitely use less of the pattern that you don't like, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna keep cutting for a while and then when I get to the next step, I'll resume, which might be in the next video, we'll see. Okay, so I have got all of my squares cut, and what I'm gonna do now is position these on my design wall, and I'll show you the picture of that, I'll film it, and then we're actually just gonna start sewing. So this is one of those really, really, really simple quilts that you can make in just a few hours. Uh, I think the thing that takes the longest is probably pressing it. Okay, so I will be back. 